Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining. So I have a 24 inch by 18 inch deep edge canvas set up here on my spinner. I have some paint mixed up and I just want to do like a blowout and spin. So let's just jump right in. Okay, I'll go over the colors as I'm pouring. I'm not really sure what exactly I'm gonna do, but we're gonna do something. Okay, so I have, this is Titanium White by Amsterdam. I'm just gonna, let's see. Pour a little bit down. And then we're gonna pour some colors on it. Okay, and then this color here, let's make sure you can see it. This was left over a uh, scraped up paint from my painting station and it was a gray, like a light gray. So I added some turquoise green by Amsterdam and got this gorgeous color. So I put it in one of my bottles so I can color match it and refill it because I loved it. You know what? Let me pour some of my self mix down here. And then we'll pour this one. I think these colors go really nice together. Just kind of pour it. Okay, and just to kind of blend these together a little, I'm just going to take my palette knife and just give it a little mess around. Okay, scrape that there. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is spin this just a little bit to stretch it out. So I'm gonna put some more white around the edges. And I'll be adding paint to this as I go. It's all my white. So I do have a few cups of leftover paint that I can use as flow extender. Uh, let's put a little of this pink. Here. And I'm going to pop some air bubbles with my hair dryer. And let's just take this and kind of just blend it a little bit so we don't have really hard edges. spin this out just a little to stretch it. So, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I thought that was going to be a bit risky. You know what? We're going to move this one. I need a bigger spin station. <laughs> Okay, let's just do this. All right. Now I think I'm gonna puddle up a little, um, I'm gonna puddle pour some paint here. I think do a blow with my hair dryer and then we'll spin the rest out. I just have to figure out what colors I'm going to use. Um, oh, we're going to go for Billabong. This is by This Little Piggy, a new color that's coming out on the 13th. So I will open the cap. 
or I'm gonna kind of go down here towards the corner instead of in the center because I kind of want this like an offset type of bloom for blowout. And let's throw a little bit of this. This is like a smokier um, shade than this one. So it's that color, but my self mix, but I added more black, so it's more smoky. And let's give I'm gonna pop this. I think this is called Abalone. It's a new one as well. It'll be out on the 13th, but it's this like gorgeous soft baby blue, and then it has it throws gold depending on the angle that you're looking at it with light. So we'll get some gold in there. And I think we need some more pink. So let's go for that babyish pink. Okay, and boom. Okay, we're gonna give a blow. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna spin the rest of it out, I think. So let's go like this, just to get that paint, a little bit more paint to go that way. And then I'll tilt it back a little bit this way. And then we're gonna put it down, make sure this is on my clip so it doesn't fly off. And then we're gonna spin it. I'm not gonna go crazy spinning, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go slow and then stop. Okay. All right. Loving this background, I'm hating this. I love that background. I'm upset because I really love that background. We'll have to do it again. Right, we gotta fix this. We gotta do something. We will fix it, hopefully. Blend again. We're just going to spin it. OK. 
Okay. That nasty chunk out. We have to do something here. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Don't worry. background for a blow a Dutch pour or something I'm not sure let's just keep going keep going do you know what I'll do actually I have some of this color mixed up with a small bit of satin enamel pure white by deco art or a cloudiness, I might actually do a cloudy um, Dutch pour. Okay. Yeah, so we're pretty much covered. That's actually quite cool. That's a really nice, pretty background. Um, let me check out what's going on over here. Just a bit of white. Okay, I think I'm going to Get this chunk out and take my gloves off for a second. And then I'm going to take, will I? Okay, so this is that color that was just in the bottle, that baby pink. And I added a little bit of, I did this last night because I was working on something else and it's left over. I added just a little bit, like it was like half and half of this satin enamels pure white by deco art to do like a cloudy pour. So what I think I'm gonna do, let's get rid of this stick. And Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna pour just a line of it, or a ribbon of it there, and I'm gonna get my hair dryer and see what happens. I'm just gonna wait a second to see what happens. Pretty. And will we go do that again here, I think. Just a little bit. Where'd that cup go? Okay. I'm gonna connect it to this pink area over here and then we're gonna just do another little bow. So just a little bit. This back here, this is actually kind of fun. There's not a lot of paint on the canvas because I spun it out, so it's that background base is really thin. There's not a lot of paint, so you're not gonna get a um a very you know flowy uh blowout. But check out those edges. That's just a completely different look. I love it. I'm delighted with it. <laughs> Let's let it develop a little. It doesn't look like it's going to do much here, but I'm actually loving this ghostly look right there. I think it's beautiful. Um, I like it. Where are you guys? You're there. I like it this way, I think. Gonna get a little bit more of that pink and cover up this edge. There we go. It's so pretty. Love it. 
All right, guys, there we have it. Let me know what you think. I will bring you in for a close up just so you can see all the ribbons and the lines and the softness of the cloud. I'll be right back. Okay, so I definitely like this orientation best. It is has been about 15 minutes later. I just want to show you my favorite part. I love the softness of that edge right there. It really creates a lot of depth within the piece. Um, let me know what you guys think. I did not expect to come out with something like this. I'm actually delighted with it, and I'm going to try to do this um, again with some different colors because I'm constantly using blues and greens. <laughs> anyway, I love the color palette. Let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.